Hello everybody, today we're going to learn a, a funny thing how to make a record on a regular computer based CD-R and CD-RW on a consumer grade Pioneer PDR 609 uh, CD burner okay so I have prepared few things um, in advance so not to take your time uh, I'm going to show you a principle and then you, you can do the rest yourself. So I have also already untightened uh, six screws holding the, the lock. So we take it off. There's also a, a shield on the CD, CD ROM unit covering it uh, from the, the distortion uh, from, from, uh, from the emission radio em high frequent emission from the power switch mode so this shield is, uh, is here for good reason but for the demonstration it's okay if we remove it so you got to lose four screws do not lose them I have them uh, I have them somewhere here okay so what we do now is we switch on the power of this unit. The power is on. Try to detect the disc, no disc of course. Then we open the tray. Put in a new fresh unrecorded CDR audio grade. Yeah. We put it in. Store it here. Okay, what does it tell? Detect a new disk. Talk read. New disk is detected. Okay, now is actually the funny part. I am going to lose the camera from the tripod. Here, uh, on the CD mechanism, on the left side of it, if you see from the front, you could see a, a white gear wheel that is uh, responsible for for the feeding. The CD tray into the into the uh, machine. Okay, by your finger you can rotate this gear. Yeah, whatever whatever direction you you observe it. Uh, you feed out this manually. Do not push any buttons nowhere. You can actually feed out it the whole way. It doesn't matter. Remove it. Put your disc out. Take just the regular platinum CDR that uh, computer grade ones, no audio grade. What you do is that you feed it back with your finger on this white gear wheel. You feed it back. Okay, notice also that. The, the, mechani the mechanism should lock at the end, so you have to feed it until the gear wheel do not rotate any longer, right? There you have still the passage on the screen. Now we're going to do this way. We put, we connect the optical, one of the optical inputs which is uh, the Sonos we select the input it's optical input uh, we push the monitor the optical input is locked uh, then we hopefully can then we hopefully can start I put the, the headphones just for the, the sound 
for the sake of sound we're not going to connect it to a stereo for this reason but let me just give me a second uh, now we start the recording it will set up note also this is the regular computer grade CDR not any kind of audio grade so what we need is to push this button to start the record you see the time start ticking now we take the Sonos uh, app and start so the recording uh, is, is now started be careful please with uh, the, the laser emission do not look at, at the mechanism you should also understand that this is only a, a principle a principle uh, of how you can do this uh, the basic thing is that in this in this particular model pioneer did uh, cut the the sensor the switch that detects the 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 tray position open or closed so there is no switch and unless you push any button on the front the cd player the cd recorder does not know where the tray is so you can feed it out manually and put a disc you of your choice and then um, put it back uh, uh, there are two things to remember the 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 disc that you feed first and the disc that you feed after should be the same type for example this one is cdr if you go into burn on cdrw which is a readable cd then you should first feed a readable C cd audio grade like this and then you can put any cd rw uh, of your choice of computer grade this is one thing the other thing is that uh, this uh, this way works only for new discs if you started already the record you have to finalize it you won't be able to put the disc back into into the player or burner uh, so once uh, started the record you have to finalize the disc inside the machine so do not open it otherwise you will lose this disc but no big deal okay no switch uh, indicating opening tray or closing tray if you have possibility to to uh, connect to feed the loading motor it's somewhere there if you if you can feed it if you can uh, uh, if you can uh, solder a separate connector feeding it with plus or minus 5 volts then you can have a button lead the button button outside assemble all this all the shields the screens and assemble everything so you have a possibility only to uh, switch the button separately from the the whole uh, uh, cd servo mechanism feed this motor open the tray put the disc of your choice and uh, start the record right good luck then it worked for me so it should work for you bye bye